Darren Jack here from Hall of Fame Collection. Due to popular demand, we brought back our helmet videos today, and we want to tell you a little bit about the latest and greatest models from both Bell and Arai. Did you know that in Formula One this year on the 2020 grid, more than 75% of the drivers are actually wearing either Bell or Arai helmets, and in the IndyCar side at the Indianapolis 500 in 2020, there was actually a higher number of nearly 95% of the drivers that were wearing either the Bell helmets or the Arai. If you know the drivers that aren't wearing either the Bells or the Arai at the Indy 500 or the Formula One World Championship this year, comment below and you can win prizes. So today I wanted to tell you a little bit about the helmet manufacturers Bell and Arai will start with the latest and greatest helmet model from Bell Helmets. So we have here Fernando Alonso's 2020 Indianapolis 500 helmet. It's the Bell HP 77 model. And next to it, we have the previous generation model from Fernando Alonso. This is the Bell HP 7. Many of you are familiar with this helmet because it has the visor with a visor panel on it, of course. That is the biggest notable difference between the two. Um, Alonso actually used both helmet models during the Indianapolis 500 in practice and in race this year. And so directly side by side, that's the first thing you notice, of course, is the visors. So if we open those up, you'll be able to see that the visor opening is about 12 millimeters smaller on the new Bell HP 77 model. Um, it actually is reinforced here for extra protection. Um, when Felipe Massa had his accident, that's when they built the carbon fiber panel to go on top of the visor for extra protection. That is not needed anymore. So Alonso had his choice between the two helmet models and you can see the, the difference visually from the front there. Also, this year, brand new to IndyCar, of course, is the aero screen. So you'll see that a lot of the helmets now have this sort of forced air intake that you would have seen previously on sports car, driver's helmets or NASCAR. This, of course, forces some cold air into the helmet to help the driver uh, cool down a little bit and perhaps breathe a little bit easier too. And what's neat about these two helmets, because they are side by side, you can see that there are some small differences, slightly in the paint color and such. And of course, Alonso went with the yard of bricks on the back of one of them for his um, Indianapolis 500 effort there. Um, Alonso has some pretty cool bragging rights during his career. So on the back of these helmets, you'll notice that he has the two Formula One World Championship uh, crowns of 2005 and 2006. He was a two-time Le Mans winner, of course, in 2018 and 2019, so that's also on the back, as well as the WEC uh, World Championship from 2018-19, and lastly, we have his um, 24 Hours of Daytona trophy from 2019. Fernando would have loved to add maybe a bottle of milk on the back of there to represent his Indianapolis 500 victory, but it wasn't to be this year, so he's gonna keep battling on for the triple crown in future years. Now, going back to the Arai helmets, we have two examples as well. Of course, we've got the brand new Arai GP7 RC model from Pierre Gasly from 2020. Pierre Gasly, incidentally, this year became the 109th Grand Prix winner in history. He used this helmet in the Austrian Grand Prix at the start of the season and it was the first helmet that was painted for him for 2020. Next to that, we actually have its predecessor, if you like, which is the Alexander Rossi um, 2019 helmet that he used at Road America to victory in IndyCar. So this is the Arai GP6 helmet model, and you can see as well, it has the carbon fiber panel, if you like, on the visor, whereas the Gasly one has a much smaller visor. And that is also due to the eye port, of course. You'll notice as well on the Arai helmet here from Gasly, the eye port is significantly smaller, much like it was with the latest Alonso helmet versus the Alexander Rossi one, which is the a lot larger eye port. Um, the other interesting fact is that Arai this year with the new 8860 standard that came out in 2000 and 
20 actually has a lighter helmet model, slightly, than its previous generation, whereas the Bell ones, the newest model is actually slightly heavier than the previous one. But both manufacturers are really dominating the market right now. In fact, in IndyCar this year, the Bell helmets had 16 out of the 33 um, starters, whereas the Arai had 15 out of the 33. But in Formula One, we've got 11 uh, drivers wearing the Bell helmet. So these are both beautiful helmets. They're both available on RacingHallOfFameCollection.com and you can check them out as always on our Instagram, Facebook pages as well. Please remember to like and subscribe to all of our videos and share too.